At least one person was injured after a tornado hit a city southeast of Los Angeles on Wednesday. The National Weather Service confirmed that the tornado briefly touched down in an industrial park and warehouse district in the city of Montebello and classified the tornado as EF1 with estimated maximum winds of 110 miles per hour. It damaged at least 17 buildings, 11 of which were so severely damaged that the fire department deemed them too dangerous to use, according to Michael Chi, a city public information officer. There were debris flying and everything, one person shared a video of the storm. The video zooms in on a mass of dark gray clouds consuming the sky and decreasing toward the ground. The tornado ripped off the roof of a building, broke a power pole, ejected an HVAC unit from the top of a building, shattered skylights, damaged cars, and tore a healthy pine tree with a 30-centimeter wide trunk, the National Weather Service reported after assessing storm damage in Montebello on Wednesday. Tornadoes are rare in California, with fewer than 10 per year on average, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Most tornadoes in the state are small and short-lived. They differ from more traditional tornadoes that form from rotating storms, like those common in the central and southeastern plains. While land spouts can cause damage, they typically aren't extensive or severe. An additional video of the Montebello storm shows a swirling cloud of black debris as the roof of a nearby building is torn off. Vehicles can be seen with damage and broken glass. The roof fell off a building, one witness says while recording a parking lot full of damaged vehicles. This is stuff you see in Ohio, Arkansas, not in Montebello, another witness is heard saying. Wednesday severe weather comes as California has been plagued in recent months by at least 12 atmospheric rivers that brought devastating flooding and hurricane force winds. An atmospheric river is like a fire hose that carries moisture-saturated air from the tropics to higher latitudes, dumping relentless rain or snow. At least five people died from the storm in the San Francisco Bay Area when strong winds hit cities on Tuesday, toppling trees and power lines. The city of San Francisco said its 911 call center had four times the normal volume of calls during the storm's peak, resulting in more than 700 fallen trees and branches and reports of glass and debris falling from tall towers.